Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of a video hop for the newest Catherine Pooler stamp of approval release. So please go into my description to see the link for the next video and leave a comment and you may win a prize. Today we're going to be using the Adore die and that's A-D-O-R-E, but I have just recently found out that it's a pun, Adore, Adore, and because it's a door. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I get a little too excited for these things. Anyway, I have previously cut it out of a piece of uh, Catherine Puller premium white cardstock, and I'm going to be using a Catherine Puller background stamp, which is this wood grain background stamp, to add a little bit of design. And I'm going to again cut the same die out of this piece of cardstock. Now, this is a piece of sand dunes cardstock and I'm using icing on the cake to stamp this background stamp. Once I stamp that, I will go ahead and send it through my die cutting machine again with the Adore die. And I'm going to be using these two die cuts together as sort of a paper piecing die. I wouldn't say it's technically a paper piecing die, but maybe it is. I, I like to be able to use pieces of the same die out of different color cardstocks and things like that. And that way you get a different feel. And I think that this die does a really great job at making that an option. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out all of those center pieces of the white cardstock die cut. And I'm going to be using BG10 Copic marker. And I will be coloring all of these as a pane of glass. So basically I want this to look like a door with the center sections all glass panes. So what I'm doing is just doing one layer all the way down the uh, piece of cardstock and then I will go ahead and go in a few more times at the very top and then the very right side and I'm just going to keep going over that to give it a little bit more color and saturation. And then I'm going to go in diagonally from opposite corners, so the top right corner and the bottom left corner. I'm going to go in together so that it looks maybe like a reflection. And this is just how I decided to color this. I think it looks a bit like glass, like reflective glass, but if you have another way or another method that you prefer, please be totally obliged to use that one. I have recently been introduced to this art glitter glue, which comes with this really fine tip nozzle uh, in addition to just the regular nozzle, and I'm really loving it for very small and intricate dies. So that's what I'm using to adhere this die cut to a piece of midnight cardstock. I will then take a wire trimmer where I can see exactly where my cuts are going to be, and I'm just going to cut around it very, very close, just making sure that the slightest bit is peeking through on each end. And I'm doing this because I will be adhering this to a white uh, card base, and I want to make sure that there's some sort of contrast and that you can see the difference once all of the pieces of the door are adhered inside the door, I want to make sure that there's some contrast between the white card base and the white frame of the door. So I'm now going to go ahead and adhere this to my A2 size card base with foam tape and I am sort of cutting it just to the size that I need and I find that a lot of people tend to just use the uh, foam tape as it comes so they try to buy the thinner kind but I actually quite prefer getting the bulkier kind and then cutting it down to what I need it just seems like it lasts a little bit longer that way for me so I'm going to go ahead now and put all of this together so I'm going to use my glass pane pieces that I've colored with my Copic marker and place those right in the center. So I'm using the three in the center and then the little half circle on top. And then all of the other elements, all of the other pieces are going to be from that wood grain panel with the sand dunes cardstock that I used. And again, I'm using that fine tip nozzle on my glue and it just helps because it doesn't put in too much glue and it doesn't have like this overload. I also want to let you know that the pieces in the door frame 
are very specific to where they belong. So not every single sort of square piece that you see is the same size. So one is not going to fit into another space. So that's really good to know for this die. I want to make sure that you keep that in mind. You might want to just keep it all together and where they belong because you might have a tough time fitting it together if you don't. So this is my completed door panel. Now I'm going to use some embellishment pieces from the Sweet Home Wreath stamp set. So I'm just going to use this little leaf that's sort of curved and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that in spruce ink and I'm going to stamp it four times and that is so that when I die cut it out using the coordinating dies, I can make this wreath so it will be like a circle kind of. And this was the perfect size to hang quote unquote, on my front door panel. So you can see that I've cut it all out with the dies, and I'm just going to glue them all together to create this wreath shape. And once I do that, I want to make a sort of sign that goes in the middle of the wreath, and that will be my sentiment. So because I have a very small space to do this, what I'm going to do is just use the back of one of the pieces that I didn't use for the sand dune cardstock, and I'm going to take two different sentiment stamps from the sweet home wreath set. So I'm using the word home from home sweet home sentiment and I'm using the word welcome from you are always welcome here sentiment and I'm just stamping the welcome and then the home onto that piece of sand dune scrap cardstock and then I'm just going to cut it down so that it fits right there in the center and I will adhere that with glue and then adhere it all together onto my card front with foam tape. I went ahead and stamped those berries in Samba, which is one of the new colors for ink. And that also has coordinating dies, so I was able to cut that out. And I adhered it with glue to the top right-hand corner and the bottom left-hand corner. And I just thought that that added the right amount of color that it needed on the front door. I really love the way that this turned out. I was struggling a bit for what I was going to do with my sentiment, but I think that it really made the card and sometimes things like that just happen. It just sort of falls in your lap and I'm really happy with the way that all of this turned out. Again, please go to the description to keep hopping along on the video hop, leave a comment for your chance to win, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much. Bye.